My name is uh, Graham Dern, um, and I have the pleasure and privilege of being uh, Master of Ceremonies today. So it gives me a uh, pleasure to hand over to Chief Superintendent Paul Martin. Can you all hear me okay? Am I just as loud? <laughs> just to recess on. Okay. First thing I want to say is, I look, I'm looking around, looking at all the smiling faces, I'm looking at the friends, families, the loved ones, all the people that have taken the time to come here and celebrate um, these awards. And I want to say thank you for making the effort, not just for turning up to actually show support for your loved ones. I, I know 99% of the time, it's the work you do behind the scenes to say thank you, to support them, to deal with people, you know, when they're coming home late from work, or they're going to work and they're supposed to be going to a family dinner or party. All the, you know, all the times we have to make you change your schedule, all the times you have to actually cater for some of the things that we deal with you know, at work and you have to come home and you have to support us. And a lot of the time we forget that. A lot of the time we just deal with the things that are in front of us and we just roll on through. And we don't think about how it impacts upon our friends, our families, our children and our loved ones. So. For those circumstances when we do that, I would just like to say on the behalf of the Metropolitan Police Service and myself, thank you for all those times we haven't said thank you to you and we should all. Now, I just want to actually note the fact that we've got people here that have travelled from Dover, uh, from Scotland and in between. I myself have come from quite a long way away, South London, and believe it or not, Southern Rail decided that they were going to make this an interesting journey for me this morning. So it's a bit like trains, planes and automobiles for me, but I got here again. I even had to do a little bit of running at the end from the tube station. But I made sure no one filmed that because I know that would have gone viral on YouTube. But I got here and it's really important that I got here on time. Reason being is, we're here to celebrate some really fabulous acts of kindness, courage, and we're here to celebrate the things that actually make everything special whether it's police officers or police staff. Those small little acts of kindness which we need to reward because too many times do too many times people make a difference and make an effort and it's not rewarded, it's not, not acknowledged. And this is us this, this is just us saying thank you. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Sorry. Yeah, so this is just us saying thank you. So um, I won't go on much more. All I want to do is just finish up by saying Thank you to the, um, the venue. This is a fantastic venue. I think it's really amazing. I've already seen pictures to my family and they think I'm at a wedding. And I said, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is just an amazing venue and I want to thank the support staff and all the other people that have been involved in this. It's just taken them a lot of time to prepare for this and I just want to say thank you. And I'm now going to hand over to the Deputy Mayor, Simon Woodroff, just to say a couple of words. So, um, can I start a round of applause for all the support staff of the venue? So, thank you. Thank you, Commander. I hope everybody can hear me. Um, uh, it's great to be here. I, I think as an ordinary civilian, we do tend to take the police for granted a lot. You know, we assume they're going to do everything. And then when we come into contact, we find that we really need them. Um, and I know you all have been looking through the uh, program, the various things that people have been commended for. And I think it's tremendous. I, I think a lot of tremendous work is done. Um, but I, I have to kind of mention something personal. Um, in March, my daughter had a serious accident where she lost half her leg and she was being transported back and forth from Charing Cross. She came home one day, a parcel had been delivered and then it had disappeared. And it turned out that uh, the, um, uh, the person delivering, delivering her had stolen this necklace. Uh, we got on to the police and a couple of weeks ago it went to court and the guy came in and uh, uh, pleaded guilty and actually returned the necklace, bizarrely, and actually turned up in court with the necklace. But now that's just a tiny thing as far as you're concerned. But to us, we were so infinitely grateful. My daughter was in floods and tears when this necklace and she'd had her leg amputated. And for us, the fact what the police did uh, and I'm just going to commend this chap called 
PC Brian Winston at uh, Ealing Police. And for me, I, I just currently feel very sympathetic to the police, and I think you know, the job there was done massive. And that's just a tiny, tiny thing. And here we've seen tremendously big cases. Uh, I'm also pleased that my, I'm a, I'm a representative of Green for Green Ward. I'm glad to see Sergeant Twitching, who's our local policeman, is going to get a reward as well. So. Uh, everything's going really well. So, but I think uh, I'm, I'm going to go, but uh, I'm just really grateful for everything. We're all grateful for everything with police and their recent events in Norfolk. Reminded us what's, you know, how great police are doing. And uh, I wish you well, and I hope everybody enjoys the evening. Thank you. Okay, uh, I apologise if the microphone does come and go on occasions. Um, uh, let me explain how this is going to work. Many of you may have been to a combination ceremony before and, and, and see what goes on. What I will do is I will call out the names of the officers to be commended. Um, if those officers could come up um, and sit in the chairs to the right as you look at the stage, at the white chairs there, um, then um, uh, one of the superintendents will, will, will read out uh, the citation story uh, and then Accommodations will be awarded. I can ask you to reserve your applause when the accommodation is awarded as opposed to when people are called up. Um, and in that way, hopefully, it will go smoothly. I apologise in advance if I get anybody's name wrong, mispronounce it. It always happens. And sometimes I call up people who aren't actually here, so please bear with me. Um, 